Hemoglobin Blood Bank. Can I help you? Yes, I had an appointment for 2.30. The name's Humphreys. Oh, yes. Mr. Humphreys, the doctor's available to see you right away. Second door on the right. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, 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 look who it is. My man, who is this? Mr. Humphreys. Mr. Yes. Humphreys, have a seat. I'm Dr. Rambo. Yeah, yeah, I know. What? I don't know. Welcome to Hemoglobin, where you always get a positive service. Uh, yeah, I saw your ad. <laughs> a positive. What do you got? I saw your ad in the paper. What do papers know? That's your problem, reading papers? Michael Jordan didn't get to make his own shoes because he read papers. I, I, I just... I mean, I saw the ad in the paper. Let's cut to the chase. What are you here for? Either bleed or get off the toilet. Here's a sheet with our rates. Rate, rates for what? Exactly. Ah. Okay, um... I'll, um, I'll do the uh, pint of blood for $40. Yeah. Oh yeah? Well, how about this? I'll give you a dartboard, a mini fridge, and a run at my old lady for 75 What do you think of that deal? What? I know what you're trying to do. Coming in here thinking you've got the biggest feet in the winery. But you know what? Let's talk money later. Before we get started, I'm going to need you to fill out the top of this questionnaire. Oh, okay. Um, I need a pen. Uh, oh, yeah? Well, I need you to have that pen, Dr. Humphreys. I'm, I'm not a doctor. Oh. Well, I am. Here's a pen. Thanks. Your mama. Sorry? All finished? Uh, well, okay. Yeah, good enough. That's fine. All I really needed was the first half of your name anyways. Question one. What's your blood type? I'm not sure. Good. Question two. Have you ever given blood before? <clears throat> um, yes, uh, one time in college. Yes. Do you need me to move my leg closer to you, or can you pull it from there? Mm -hmm. Horse ass. Question three. Have you ever been convicted of a crime? Like maybe a battery for hitting a guy with a display shoe in a department store? Come on, you would have done the same thing if the dude looked at you all gay, started reaching at your shoelaces. I don't care if he was the shoe salesman I asked to measure my feet. So no convictions then? Uh, no, no, nothing more than a couple of speeding tickets. Whoa, all right, Danica. Question four. Are you currently taking any medication? Um, yeah, actually, um, my doctor just uh, prescribed me some, uh, some nasal decongestant uh, with codeine. Um, and I don't know if that matters um, for my post-nasal drip. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm allergic to bee pollen and, uh, and dust mites. And, uh, Woo! Sorry about that. Danger. Got a whiff of some old pee. Ugh. Where were we? Oh, yeah. Okay, no medication and no allergies. Question five, and just so you know, the questions get a little strange from here on out, so bear with me. Here we go. Question five, have you ever engaged in sexual intercourse with a man from Northern Africa before 1980? Is that a real question, really? Yeah, it's a weird one, I know, but I have to ask it. Well, um, no, I never have. That's too bad. So those guys are horses in bed. Oh, they're horses out of bed, too. Well, um, well, I wouldn't know. Hey, nice ad lib, Ryan Stiles. Um, oh, okay, well, now that I think of it, actually, there was this guy in high school uh, in my gym class. You wouldn't know an African horseman if he bit you right on the ass. You know what? Believe you me, he would bite you right on the ass. Um, you know what, um, doctor? Uh, thank you for your time, but I think I made a very big mistake coming in here, and I'm I'm leaving. What? Come on, sit down. Don't be weird. Come on, man. You know what? I thought you were here to donate blood, not show the world what a coward you are. You know what? Forget it. 
Get out of here. Go. Who would want your yellow chicken blood inside of them anyway? Not me. These chrome-plated American veins would blow it right back out. <laughs> and then I would die! Die like George Washington! Come on, sit down. You're almost there. It's hero time. Is it hero time? Yeah. Hero time! You're bleeding. You're damn right I'm bleeding. It's hero time. Do you need a, uh, do you want to, I have a Kleenex or no. something? Let's go. Question six. Is it hero time? What? I mean... You're damn right it is! Um. Question seven. Were you bottle fed or breast fed? Um, I don't really know. You don't know. Well, you know what? Guess it doesn't really matter anyway. But with that kind of hairstyle, I'd guess that you're ball fed at least a couple times a week. <laughs> Alright, last question. Have you... You know what? Hold on. Wait a second. I gotta write this down. I just told a guy he got ball fed. <laughs> Alright. We're ready to extract the blood. I'm gonna need you to go ahead and stand up. I'm gonna be giving you a general anesthetic. You'll be taking it orally. The reason you're standing is so it is distributed evenly throughout your body. Um, what it's going to do is prevent any hemorrhaging or uh, blood, blood complications. So go ahead and drink that. Uh, doctor, there's... <laughs>